Hey, beautiful people, and welcome to the Beauty Hustle Podcast, where we talk about educating and evolving in the beauty industry. I'm your host, Beauty the Brave Boss, and today, y'all, we are going to talk about how I made my first $1,500 inside my college dorm room. Yes, inside my college dorm room. Now, let's let's be real, y'all. Most of us, we are grateful if we get the opportunity to attend college, you know, and most of us, especially in the African-American community, we are not blessed to have parents that have money, you know, let alone have extra money to, you know, send us every week, every two weeks. Well, let's talk about it really every week, every day, because college kids always spending money. Okay. And uh, by the grace of God, I was blessed with a gift to braid hair. I had my first client at 13. Um, I was doing $90 micro braids. Some of y'all may be too young to know what that is, but I was popping back then in middle school and high school. And I took that into college with me. Now, when I got to college, I kind of had to step. That was when I had to really step up my hustle because I'm in an unknown territory. I don't know nobody. And I got to figure out how to make some money to sustain myself because I can't get a job because I don't have a car. Uh, my freshman year at the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, I was not eligible for, um, what is it? Um, dang, what is it called? Work study. I was not eligible uh, for work study because I had entered college on academic probation. And with that, um, I had to get creative. So prior to college, um, I went in at the age of 20. Um, I went right after high school, then left, then went back. And, um, when I went back home after my, after I immediately graduated high school, I went into a salon and I printed out flyers on, um, the word doc, like very old school, printed it out, would walk up and down the streets you know, passing out the flyers that I made with just words back then pictures were not on flyers. So that was not a thing. But when I got to college in fall of 2014, you know, social media had just came about with Facebook and uh, Instagram. Instagram was the thing. And so I was just in my dorm room trying to figure out how am I going to make this money? Like I have to make something. I don't care if I just do one person a week. I got to get my brand out there. I got to get the business out there and I got to give me some money because I mean, I need toiletries, soap, deodorant. Um, I need snacks for my dorm room, you know, just all the necessities that we need. And unfortunately, my parents were not, they didn't have no money to send me. So I had, I had to figure it out. So what I did was I would go to the library on campus and I would make flyers with um my name back then it was here by Peter Renee and um put my prices on it one thing that kind of gave me some type of leverage on the campus was that I was a golden girl I was an M4 golden girl from 2014 to 2015 and when you're part of any type of organization on the yard like people do kind of look up to you you know what I'm saying and being a golden girl really 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 helped me like I was the golden girl that did hair that's what I was known for on the yard like for those who don't know if you go to HBCU we call the campus the yard so I'm using our terminology so that helped me a lot um one thing that I did do um I went to uh I think it was either student affairs or um it's some type of building that you can go to on campus if you walk around campus and you see a whole bunch of flyers posted up everywhere and at the bottom of that flyer there's a stamp on it okay now i'm putting y'all on game there's a stamp on it that stamp you want to go to that office tell them what you're doing show them what you have and get that stamp because that stamp approves you to hang your flyers around the university really in um you know, all the dorms, like the business buildings, STEM buildings, like stuff like that. Um, not sure if the university still allows it, 
but it is worth a try because that will set you apart from everybody else one thing people will see like dang she about her business we got a hairstylist on campus that's what's up because let's be real we college students we broke we don't have the money to go travel to wherever to get our hair done because the people in the salon are you know they have salon prices so as a college student we got to do what we got to do some people got creative with doing their own hair, but let's be real. People don't know how to do their own hair, nor do they feel like trying to learn how to do their own hair. They would just rather pay somebody and they need to be paying you. So let the folks know the moment you step on the yard, you need to let them know who you are and what you do every day, all day. Get T-shirts with your logo on it. You need to be wearing it. I, I, I would bust it down every day uh, an outfit once a week with my logo on it you know what I'm saying and get you some business cards you can go to vistaprint.com and get you some you can make some you know easy business cards and if you don't have money for that like I said you can go to the library and print off you some flyers that's that's the easiest thing to do when you don't have money but you're trying to make some money now let's get into these prices now, with the prices, of course, I do not charge what I charge now. Back then, for my box braids, I was charging like $80 and then I think $100 for a small. And then I would also do $50 sew-ins. At first, I did $45, then I went up to $50. And then I was also doing wig installs as well. Now... Y'all want to know how I made my first $1,500? I just told you. Like, don't overthink it. Like, it's not, it's, it's, it's not that, it ain't that deep. Let me just say that. It's not that deep. Um, You need to write down your plan and execute it. And I'm giving you the plan. Like, I'm giving it to you. Like, that's all you have to do. Make sure you have a professional business name. You set your prices get them flyers and pass them out and go hard with it every day. So that way people are, when they think about getting their hair done, even with makeup, nails, whatever, whenever they're thinking about getting a service done, they think about staying on campus. And you want to use that to your leverage on social media as well, especially TikTok. TikTok and Instagram, you need to be the person on the yard every day vlog you passing out your business cards you need to take content of you putting up your flyers i would even even when you get off of campus and you go to the walmarts the beauty supply houses put your flyers up because you can service people off the yard as well like let's talk about it it's too many ways to skin a cat y'all it's too many ways to get money out here and how I made my first $1,500 was because of the hustle that I had. Now, let's talk about it. Being a golden girl took up all my time in the fall season. But whatever time I did have when I wasn't dancing or practicing, I passed out my flyers. People knew what I did. And then, of course, I'm on a dance team. So I did assist the Golden Girls as well, I would take pictures and post it. That's when Facebook started really, you know, starting to catch up on posting pictures and stuff like that. But now y'all have all these social media platforms to y'all advantage and y'all need to take advantage of it. Like, seriously, like take advantage of it. Don't, don't, it should not be a day that go by that don't nobody see your work, that don't nobody see your brand. You feel me? And always keep your hair done. Always keep your hair done. Now, when you get into the real world, it's going to be tough to keep your hair done every day. Like, let's talk about it. We look like bonds behind these chairs. But as a college student, you have too much time on your hands for you to look amiss. And if you walk up to somebody and say, I'm a hairstylist, I do hair, the first thing they're going to do is look at your hair. Make sure your appearance is up to par. Let's talk about it. At an HBCU, it's a fashion show almost every day. So when you go to a basketball game, when you go to a step show, when you go to a comedy show, when you go to these events that they have in the theater, you need to have an outfit on and you need to have your hair done. Have your hair done, look presentable, make sure you talk to people, be uh, friendly. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be one of them where you too good to talk to nobody because let's be real, you need the money. Okay, so be humble, be friendly be approachable and make sure even the the teachers too 
the teachers need to know what you do too. They they support the students. When I say any anybody that you can get your hands on, they need to know what you do. Period. Point point blank. Like no day should go unheard of your name on the yard. Like period. Your name should ring bells on the yard. So that way, all four years that you are there, the in, the new incoming students. When people talking, they like, oh, I need my hair done. I don't know who to go to. Your name going to be the first to drop because of the work that you've put in, you know, the previous year. And that's going to follow you throughout your entire time in college. You know what I'm saying? So during the springtime, I'll never forget. It was the week of spring break, the week before we left for spring break. And I have been praying to God. I'm like, God, I need this money. I had paid all my money to go on a trip. We was going to Panama City Beach. Had the time of my life, honey. And next thing you know, like, I had did all my midterms and everything. And people just started texting me like crazy. I'm talking about, can you can you do my hair this time, that time? Like, I was doing hair in between classes, before classes, after classes, like, 7 a.m. appointments. Like, I was that girl. Like, I was getting up. If you, if you text me and say, hey, can you be up at 6, 7? I sure can. I sure can. And that's how I did it. And I did that for a whole week straight. I'll never forget the day before we left. I counted, I would put all my money in my drawer next to my bed. I counted all that money. And when I counted it, I literally counted it three times because I have never, I have never in my life seen that amount of money or touched that amount of money at one time. Not ever. I had jobs before, but I just never had $1,500 like tangible in my hand off of work that I did like no taxes nothing and I just immediately started thanking God because I'm like dang if I did not have this gift what would I do like what would I do I just I I I couldn't believe it and right then in that moment I knew like if I can make this in one week inside of a dorm room, I got to stick with this to see where it's going to take me. I got to, I got to stick with it. And I, when I say, I thank everybody, everybody, everybody that sat in my chair while I was in college, I thank y'all so much because y'all have no idea what I was going through. The lack of support that I had, and just from a text saying, can you do my hair? Like, save me from being hungry. I kept my phone bill paid. I had, I think I had like a, it was either 40 or $50 phone bill. I had the cheapest phone bill ever. I mean, I had Wi-Fi. I was on campus, so I didn't need all that data back then. But all I needed was for people to have access to me and I thank y'all so much, like seriously, because doing hair sustained me in college. You know what I'm saying? And being able to have my own money and being able to pay my own way to do the extracurricular activities that, that we had in college. I didn't have to ask nobody for money. I didn't have to borrow no money from somebody. And if I did have to borrow it, Immediately, I would pay somebody back whenever I had a client. But I thank God that I never had to ask. I never had to ask for money because of the gift that God gave me and the money that I had. I managed it so well because I didn't know where my next client was coming from. So I had to hold on to every dollar. I was not spending it on bull crap. I wasn't doing all that online shopping or anything like that the only time I did some online shopping was when I hit like I had to hit at least like 200 and up to be online shopping and the only time I did online shopping was for spring break because we were going to be gone for a whole week so I need to look cute I need to look fly on the beach period but I just thank God that I that I had that I got this gift because again it has saved me from being hungry 
um, when I needed medicine, because I did end up in the hospital a few times while I was in college, like either was a toothache or my wrist being inflamed from braiding all the time. Like I had to get my pain medicine and it was because of doing hair. Like I, I was able to take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? And I'm very grateful. I'm grateful for God giving me this gift. I'm grateful for every person that sat in my chair. Y'all just don't know. Y'all don't know how much y'all bless me just by coming to get y'all hair done. I'm truly grateful. And I remember everybody. I remember every single person that sat in my chair. I do. And to see y'all now, and even it was some people that, that, that never came and got their hair done by me while I was in college. But once I got out of college and I went into being a hairstylist full-time and working in a salon, literally... 50% of my clientele was from UAPB. And I'm I'm grateful for that. Even though they didn't sit in my chair while I was in college, the fact that they saw my potential, they saw my growth, they saw my hustle. You feel what I'm saying? And they supported me after college. See what I'm saying? Your hustle, your hustle got to be on point at all times. Because you never know who watching you. You never know who following you. And you, you just never know. So you want to keep your hustle up at all times and have faith, have faith that God is going to send you those people to you and just make sure that your business is in order, that you have a positive attitude, that you're dressed professionally. I don't care if it's some jeans and a t-shirt. Don't be doing nobody here in your pajamas. Oh, this girl, she cool. Da, 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 da. Because your reputation is everything in this industry. You want people to take you serious. You don't want nobody to play with you, even in a dorm room. You Nobody play with me. Nobody played with me because I had a professional demeanor. You show up, I do your hair, pay your money, and you leave. I was not dressed like a bum. I didn't do hair in my pajamas. And then on top of that, I was quick and fast. That's, that's another thing that got, that got me my clientele. I was one of the best hairstylists on the yard at the time that I was on the yard. I was, especially when it came to braids. I was. And it sustained me. And it can sustain you too. Like, seriously, it's not that deep. It's not, oh, I, I got to have all this marketing. I got to have my Instagram looking like this, my Instagram looking like that. I got to have the aesthetics. Girl, if you don't get that little folding chair, the chair that's next to that desk, and sit them folks in that chair so they can get their hair done. Like, they're college kids. They're not worried about all that. And you shouldn't either. Like, it's not that deep. And don't think you got to have it all together. Hey, Bray Boss. How are you? Did y'all know that we going on tour? Yes, we are going on tour. The Bracelet Academy is hitting the road. We are hitting Dallas, St. Louis, Houston, and Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay? And guess what? The class is only $400. Your girl is setting you up for success, honey. Normally, I charge $1,000, but for this one, we're going to bring it on down to $400. Now, that's a price you cannot beat, okay? You are learning everything about the braiding industry. You're learning over 8 to 10 different styles and techniques. You're learning marketing. You're learning how to use social media. You're learning about professional sanitation. Baby, the list goes on. Okay, so if you are ready to boss up and be a brave boss that you already are, click that link in the bio so you can get into our free orientation October 15th. Yes, and I will go over everything in detail about the class. Now, let's get back into this hey, video. That's how I made my first $1,500 inside my college dorm room. I did it. You can do it too. You can make two bands. Okay. I also just got to match. And please understand that it does not have to be perfect. You do not have to have the aesthetics. You do not have to have the, the social media marketing. Like, you ain't, like, cut it out. Like, let's be real and raw. I had that chair that was in that desk inside my dorm room. And that's where I did here. Period. And if I got to walk to your room, hey, I'm going to walk down the street and do this girl hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your money, honey. Cause it's there, it's there. 
So yeah, y'all, that is it for today's episode. I hope that I spoke to someone, encouraged someone because y'all, life is real and raw and we're here to have real and raw conversations, okay? I came from nothing. Look where I am now. Look how God sustained me while I was in college and he can sustain you too and even more. So just continue to meet God halfway and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.